Okay, whenever you're right. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Romana, and I'm part of the social media group. Today I'll be analyzing this picture, and I'm going to tell you what I see, what I know, and what this photo means to me. Now, in the picture in the center, we see a man who is um, known as Mark Zuckerberg wearing a hoodie. Next to him, we see another man dressed in a suit. Uh, to the left of the picture, we see a camera with an ID, which means it belongs to a paparazzi. Um, and the guy who's holding the camera is being pushed away by, the, by a bodyguard that's behind Mark. There's also other people in the background with one guy who's on his phone now, probably taking a picture. This takes place in the daytime and in front of the building due to the archway that's in the back of them. Now, what I know about this picture is that I got it from uh, a website, telegraph.co.uk. It was published on May 10, 2012. And the title of the article was uh, Mark Zuckerberg Wears a Hoodie to Facebook Investment Meetings. Uh, in, this in this picture, the people are on their way to a Facebook investor meeting, which took place the same time as the publishing date, May 10, 2012, in New York. Um, Mark has been known to wear pajamas to, face, to important meetings with venture capitalists, so the fact that he pulled off this stunt wasn't new. Um, Michael Patcher, who was an analyst with Wedbush Security, said that Facebook would have made $69 billion that week regardless of his choice of clothing. And Obama even once stated that he's the only guy who got Mark to wear a, wear, wear a jacket and tie. And even though he was meeting the president, he still preferred to wear jeans. Now what this picture means to me is that regardless of Mark's choice of attire, he is still the creator of Facebook, which is a successful <coughs> social network that continues to grow with over a billion users currently. He's famous, so he has, but even though he's famous, he has his, his own choice to wear whatever he prefers. And we see the same thing in Steve Jobs, who is the inventor of Apple. People he used to wear, or he's always used to be seen to wear, a black turtleneck, tucked in, blue Levi's, and a pair of New Balance sneakers. Either, whether it was at any event, him on the streets or him producing, presenting a new product. He is still considered a genius of our time, regardless of his lack of clothes, of his lack of suits. And the fact that really bothers me is the fact that this would make it into the top news, how they're judging someone based on what they wear, whether they're going to a professional meeting or whether they are walking down the street. People usually view people who are famous to wear professional suits, but if they choose to wear something otherwise, then they get judged for it. They're ignoring the fact that um, there's other important issues going on in the world, but they choose to use something as pointless as this. But my main message is that no matter what you wear, your idea stays the same.